but I just wanted to bring out these two articles, which I'm not going to talk about. It's just emphasizing this idea that they don't want you to think for yourself. Bloomberg and Forbes both talk about this idea of a case study in conspiracy paranoia dealing with 15-minute cities, and they call it a freak out. So they use this idea of in UK, apparently in Oxford, there's this traffic control plan where they want to adjust certain ways that you have to go this way and this way. And if you violate this and we're going to have cameras watching you, and if you don't do this, this, and this, we're going to automatically send you tickets and all that stuff. And people are afraid that this is just the beginning or the prelude to a 15-minute city. It's a prison state. They're watching everything. Cameras are everywhere. And at the end, they're just going to, and, and with programmable money, they're just going to take it all away. So it, you have to realize you're just a big guinea pig. You can't throw us all in jail. Yeah, you know, in America, that's the one thing that everybody fears. You know, people think that America can't be invaded because of our, our great military. That's not the case. We got something greater than the military. There's 350 million people in America. For every one person in America, I think they say there, there's like two guns. So let's say there's 600 million guns. If anybody comes to America to invade, we only have like three or four million soldiers. But we got oh, freedom. 600 million guns. Yeah, but half of those people are confused. Doesn't matter. I guarantee you all these Americans, if people start coming over to America like China or Russia or anybody, and they start killing people, all these confused people will unite in one theme. You're going to unite the confused masses. And that's the real reason why America can't be invaded. And this is the real reason why all this Fugazi, that the government can create martial law. You know why the government doesn't force martial law all over the whole United States in one hit? Because there's all these guns. And because of freedom. Yeah, well, absolutely. It is because of freedom. That libertarian spirit that says, you're not going to hold me down. That 1776 malicious spirit. No, it says, let those things ring. So that is the real thing. We have the biggest army in the world, which is all the citizens with, a, with firearm access. Freedom is actually an acronym for firearm, reproduction, everyone, everywhere. Never heard that before. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just think about it. If America went to China, it's not like everybody's got guns. And so there, there's some point they're going to run out. But in America, even the military don't issue these guns. These are just Americans freely buying their own guns. And they're like, you know what? Don't tread on us. Yeah. Anyways, I just want you guys to know we are going to continue talking about whatever these fact checkers are trying to avoid and prevent us from talking about. So Dana Ford, be on the lookout. And the rest of you at Lead Stories, Politico, whoever else, all of you guys have come after us at one point or another. Instagram, Facebook, all of you social media platforms have come after us. And whatever we see, we're just going to emphasize that more because we know that is something that you don't want us to talk about. The more you rub us the wrong way, the harder we get. Yeah, and so we're just going to keep talking about it. We don't care. Because this is Toilet Time TV, Bottom Earth Media. We are going to keep feeding you until the scum rises to the top, and then you can rub that gutter oil all over your body. And we will stand erect. And we will stand strong. So keep telling everybody about the 15-minute cities, because clearly they don't want that to be spread, and keep telling people that you don't want to be inside of a human zoo. Free the animal spirits. <laughs>